Hello. How are you? How's it going? Here at last, eh? Come on in and see you. Yeah. Yes. Come on in. There's not a lot I know about your side of the family beyond Nana and your dad. Because yeah. you never really talked about it yourself, particularly no. who was before your dad, no, your grandparents. I've got to sit down and ask him about his family. So, you know, I'm interested to find out. And your dad? Yes. I mean, if you were to kind of imagine a city gent. He was a pinsight suit and rolled umbrella. Really? The that umbrella was, as yeah, well? That was that's that. perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Bowler hat? Oh, definitely. Wow. Yeah, 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 the bowler hat. I found a couple of photos. As you can see, you know, you can see the, the hairstyle there, can't you? Chiselled features as well. Yes. You I didn't inherit that, did you? <laughs> 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 I'm older than him there, though. Would he have been working in London at that point? Yes, he worked in the city as a broker, as I was too. A handsome man. Absolutely. And there he is with the lady that started it all for you. My nan. Wow, she looks different. I can't even recognise her. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like a completely different person. Well, how about that picture there? Wow. With, you see, I can see her in that a little bit more, that picture. Because you can see there's a glint in her eye there, because she used to have quite a sense of humour as well. Yeah. A wicked sense of humour, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the uh, certificate of marriage from my mum and dad. And I can see Nana's first name here. Edith. Edith. Louise. And then Dennis John Manning was a waiter, Nana's father. Yes, apparently he was, a, he was an Irish waiter. I knew that there might be some Irish. See, I thought the Davis bit was Irish, but it's not that bit. It's, no. it's Nana's side, the Manning side. Yes. But do you know any more? No, I know nothing about him because Mum never really mentioned him, never had a conversation about him. Did he go back to Ireland? Did he disappear? I don't know. Mm. So I think that's what I've got to do, is try and discover more about Dennis. That would be into the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Warwick wants to get to the bottom of why his grandmother Edith didn't appear to know her father, Dennis John Manning. After chatting to my dad yesterday, I don't feel particularly enlightened about his side of the family. His grandfather, Dennis Manning, um, there wasn't really anything to say, uh, which is interesting, because I was thinking that my nan Edith was born in 1911, so the war wasn't far away, and perhaps Dennis, her father, was involved somehow with the war, and that's why we, we don't know much about him at this point. But, yeah, I'm determined to uncover the mystery of what happened to Dennis. Warwick's meeting genealogist Olivia Robinson. This is the marriage certificate for Dennis mm -hmm. and great-grandmother. So there we have Dennis John Manning and Lucy Louise Topping getting married in 1903 in Lambeth. Bachelor and spinster. Just checking that because on the <laughs> other side of the family it was uh, some shenanigans. Worth checking. Yes. <laughs> and Lucy was actually living this address here. Used to be a pub called the Cock and Bottle. China Walk in Lambeth. Yeah, which is about the Cock and Bottle. Five hundred yards. Is that direction. rhyming slang for something else? <laughs> I'm sure you could find something <laughs> for that. So it's not far from here. Not far at all. I don't know if you can tell, make out Dennis's. Occupation at the time of his marriage? Let's see. Rank or profession? Licensed victualler manager. Yeah, so he's a manager of a pub, and her address is a pub, so she may well have been living in rooms behind the pub. She could or have been the barmaid. She could have been the barmaid, exactly. Ah. What I'll show you next um, yep. perhaps takes us a little bit further on in his life. So we've got a birth certificate for Dennis John Robert. And his father was Dennis John Manning. So who's that, then? I guess if we can call this one Baby Dennis, perhaps. We'll go with Baby Dennis, then. OK, when married, 11th of April 1903, and Baby Dennis was born 30th of July 1903. They didn't hang about, did they? 
Yes. So this is April. Uh, yes, so I know. Married in April. <laughs> no. And they got. And it's amazing. It's a very, very quick gestation. So Dennis was unexpected, probably, and thought, we, we've got to get married to make this proper. It was actually a relatively common occurrence for women to be pregnant at the altar, <laughs> as it were. Somewhere between one in four, one in five brides was already expecting at the time of their. A lot of rather marriage. large wedding dresses and I still. In my own life and marriage, a similar thing happened that we, uh, our son was born very shortly after we got married. That's extraordinary. What a link. Indeed. So if we take it on a little bit further now. So I've got a death certificate. Dennis John Robert Manning. Oh, so this is baby Dennis who died when he was eight months old. Of acute tubercular meningitis. Eight months old. That must have been really hard for their parents. And it says here that his mum was present at the death. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> I mean, for me, I mean, this is... We, um, my wife and I had a, a baby boy who died when he was 11 days old, and um, so we can... We can understand how this is, how it would have been for these, yeah. these parents here. But, I mean, knowing a child for eight months as well is probably even more difficult because you get to know their character, their personality, and, and then, uh, yeah, that must have been hard. Around about one in seven children would have died before they were one at, at this time which is not to deny the trauma that the parents would have gone through. But in some ways, the community around them, the fact that it was a bit more common, it may have been easier for the family to have talked about it, to have had a support network. So Yeah, there might have been other people who had had a similar experience yeah. not too far away. Yeah. But it's worth saying here that Dennis, the father, and Lucy go on to have 11 children in total. They lose this child and they lose one other child, but nine, nine of their children survive into adulthood. Yes, including Edith. My nan. Mm -hmm. So now I know that Dennis had 11 children, mm -hmm. nine survived, and my nan was one of those, mm -hmm. but I still don't know what happened to Dennis. Hopefully, this will give you a clue as to where you may want to look next. Right. This is a birth certificate of Brian Austin, They're another one of my nan's brothers. And Dennis, his father at this time, he was a munitions worker. So that's to do with the war effort then. Yeah. So making ammunition. Mm. Where would he have been doing this? For somebody living in South London, it's most likely that he'd have been involved at Woolwich, at the Woolwich, Woolwich Arsenal, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. I've heard of that. Yes. It I thought it was a football team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess to uh, find out more, that's where I need to go.